Hello and welcome back to Viking Conquest and our Iron Man Challenge. Now we're having a bit of an issue to begin with here. We have uh, this fellow, Don Chad, as well as Siwelen having some problems with each other. And I'm thinking they're probably going to be leaving relatively soon. One of them is going to leave at the very least. Now you can see here that I have uh, assorted an army that is maybe good enough to participate in that siege that I outlined in the previous episode. Hopefully it's going to work. We're here at the moment at Bear Tilled Barrow, and I'm going to be, well, showing you around a little bit. So you can see that my refuge has been upgraded, and as a result I have been able to recruit all of these additional people. Now, of course, if I improve my refuge even further, I would be able to hire a smith, a weaponsmith, as well as an armorer and a cook. I'm not entirely sure what the cook does, but I think that's pretty cool. Probably sells food, I would guess, of some kind. And uh, otherwise, I have actually been running around and I've managed to find a good amount of tools and a good amount of timber. I actually went to the lumber lumber yard to get the timber, but yeah, the tools are pretty easy to find anyway. We are now going to improve this hideout once again. So you can see here, we have a nice hideout with a mead hall and capacity for 120 men. I suggest building more houses for the men stationed here. And we could use blacksmith and so on and so forth. It's going to cost 10,000, five toolkits, and five timber pallets. So it's going to be kind of harsh in terms of the cost, but it's going to be worth it in the end, or at least I hope so. So there you go. That is going to work out quite nicely for us. I know a bunch of people said that it might be an idea to place my refuge nearby to the coast, but I'm personally thinking that that might not even make too much difference really because if indeed I do decide to stay with my current kingdom uh, as a vassal and then maybe uh, split off at some point in the future then it would be I, I think perfectly fine to just continue from here and uh, even though this isn't a coastal town either but this is going to be our first port of call in just a second I actually did try to change my thick bearskin into the more upgraded version, but the armorer will just not allow it for some reason. I, I don't exactly know why that is, but apparently uh, I have reached the maximum level, at least with that particular item. Maybe there's another kind of bear skin that is actually going to make more of a difference there. So I figured out how to uh, trade in your war trophies. As you can see right here, you just go to any random marketplace and then you're able to redeem them. And you can see here, we can exchange battle trophy for 500 pennies, very, very nice. And war trophies, as well as, I think there's another trophy on top of war trophy. There are three different ranks of it. And basically, the battle trophies, which I've just handed in, they just give you 500. And if you exchange a war trophy, you get relation and 1,000 in cash. And if you get the even better trophy, then you will gain even more relation and even more cash uh, for exchanging it, which is really, really nice. And you also get experience, as you can see right there. Pretty cool. So I'm actually going to get some dried meat, some bread, some fruit, and I think that sh Ooh, that's probably not going to be enough. That is probably not going to be enough. So I'm just going to spend quite a bit there. Uh, I did have a huge amount of prisoners, and I eventually did find a ransom broker and he gave me 4,000 for it for the 80 or so prisoners that I had. We're actually going to do a tournament real quick and then we're going to head on to the siege and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I thought I'd just pop back in to the tournament with you here because I've just been given some thrown weapons and I actually really like using thrown weapons in tournaments, amusingly enough, especially in Viking Conquest. It is just so much more fun than in other mods and that's actually not true because there are a, a couple of mods that will uh, give you that same kind of feeling but I feel like they've made the throwing weapons in Viking Conquest especially good and uh, it's a lot of fun especially when you have a, a decent throwing weapon proficiency I, I'm saying that as a whole you know so basically no matter whether you're playing native or whether you're playing Pendor or whether you're playing whatever there are going to be caveats for that so you're going to have to you know, be a bit, uh, a bit, a bit, a bit aware of it. You know, you got to have a decent proficiency to make any of this really work out in your favor. So anyway, let's try and see if we can murder him. Yes. Ow. <laughs> got to be a bit careful here. Oh, nice. That was close. Did you see that? Almost got murdered. Almost. 
but not quite, not quite. All right, so this is the final round. It is a one versus one. I've been given some throwing weapons once again. Okay, uh, this is probably gonna be the easiest round that we have ever had, as you can see right here. Boom. <laughs> Oh, it's like a laser, you know? It's literally like I'm throwing a laser. Again, I'm still not being awarded anything amazing. We're just getting 4,000 in cash, which is perfectly fine with me. I really don't mind that. Anyway, let's make our way over to uh, Dublin because we're actually going to be getting on our ships. I think, I think I didn't place them along the coast. No, they are actually here. So we can now make way. As you can see, I actually went for 199. Not entirely sure why I didn't go for 200. But whatever the case, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be going down here and we will try a siege. I'm a little bit worried about this, to be fair, because what is worrying me the most is the fact that I might not be able to stomach the morale problems that we are no doubt going to have because I'm losing morale right here. And I'm going to go into the Mead Hall. Hopefully they have someone that I can speak to. Ah, hello. Yes. That will increase my morale a little bit for 1500 It's pretty expensive. Uh, oh, that's 4000 No. Okay. Not going to be doing that. That is kind of unfortunate. Okay, so do I have a good amount of variety in my... Not really, right? Yeah. I need uh, I need, need some more stuff. So let's get some, let's get some more honey. Uh, dried meat. I have quite a few of that. Wheat. Uh, let's get some wheat. Ah, oh, some fish as well is going to be very good. All right, so how much do I have left? 6,000, that's enough. All right, so we are here, and it will take quite a while for us to get all of our stuff uh, completed. And you can see here that we have made latrines, pipelines, pond, and so on and so forth. And uh, we're just going to try and reduce the amount of uh, disease that can potentially happen. And also, blockade. Build checkpoints around the town. Unfortunately, I do not have enough men to be able to do that. I need 250 to be able to blockade, and I don't have that, of course. So we can, of course, also send foragers, and we can also fortify our camp. Uh, I think we might want to do that. Can I actually do that right now? Maybe? That would, be, that would be quite nice. Anyway, let's just see what I can do. Each day of the siege, you need to cover a number of expenses. You pay for rewards, digging latrines, cleaning stables, buying and so bringing water and food and so on and so forth. Okay, yeah. Oh. Well. Uh, that's, not, uh, that's not entirely bad. That's not entirely bad. I'm saying it's pretty bad. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's see how we go. 199 against... Whoa! Hello. Oh, we're actually in a... Oh, we're in camp, aren't we? Oh, yes. They're actually attacking my camp. This is not going to go well for them, I feel. Is it just me? Is it just me that feels like that? Oh, well. Maybe, uh... Maybe, maybe it's going to go okay. I'm just going to put everyone in shield wall as much as possible. And we got our skirmishers out the front there. Hopefully they'll do quite a bit of damage, maybe. Let's get our uh, infantry out the front, though, as well. We also need to get our spearmen out there too. I still forget to re-tag the spearmen. I should definitely do that after this. Anyway, hopefully my... Uh, oh, this guy's already entered uh, his berserker trance or whatever it may be. So he's probably going to start attacking my own guys. Isn't he? Yeah, maybe. Okay, well, whatever the case, let's try and... Uh, I'm just going to dismount real quick because I'm actually on a lame horse. And we're going to bang my shield together so that I can actually increase the toughness of my units. I hope that that actually worked. Did that actually work? <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for them to make the, the first move, basically. Because if we wait, then they're most likely just going to chuck themselves in here and literally just kill themselves on our various swords and various other pieces of weaponry so what i gotta be careful of as well is i gotta where, where, what are these guys oh these are horse archers actually right oh, this is interesting uh well uh, you know what i'm just gonna go over there and just attack their enemy archers because they're being annoying let's face it they're being very annoying they're going to uh, they're going to retreat, aren't they? They're going to retreat a little bit, but hopefully we can do a little bit of damage to their archers. We are moving pretty fast for such a large army. Look at this, my guys are moving pretty well. 
The enemy is in the camp and have accessed your treasure chest. They are looting your money. Oh. Okay. Well, I actually don't mind about that. You can take 65 if you want. <laughs> That's not really a big deal to me, in my opinion. Okay, so now let's actually start doing some damage to attack the infantry here. And the spearmen should probably attack the infantry as well. There we are. Okay, so now hopefully we will do a decent enough job in killing them. And uh, bear in mind that, oh dear, I think I, I, think I may not have turned my uh, battle size back to what my PC can actually handle. But oh well, never mind. I suppose it's going to be okay. Let's just try and do some damage. Wow, these guys really have a lot of survivability. I'm actually kind of impressed. How are we doing so far, though? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Can we open this up? Uh, yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I mean, we haven't lost too many, at least. Bear in mind that this is the first time I'm actually doing a siege in Viking Conquest in the Iron Man Challenge, so it is going to be one of those things which might be extremely difficult for us. Okay, I'm going to actually pull my guys back. Let's tell my horse archers to charge in. Hopefully they'll actually use... Uh, their heads a little bit and let's actually get everyone else coming out here and uh, actually you know what horse archers going in right now is probably not the best idea is it so is everyone oh oh my skirmishers my skirmishers are actually over there oh that's not good that is not good at all okay let's tell them to go back in now and hopefully they will attack the enemy infantry Wow, these guys. Okay, yeah. These guys know what's up. They, they, they definitely know how to, uh, how to fight in this environment. I'm not, I'm not exactly uh, practiced at this, that's for sure. Yes, use the superior reach of my weapon to deal massive damage. That is exactly what we want to do. Unfortunately, I'm now taking a lot of damage right here. A lot of casualties and everything. We probably want to retreat, to be honest, don't we? Let's see if I can actually do that. Maybe I'll be able to. If I can just get a little bit further away. Yeah, we've lost a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we're about to lose. We literally are about to lose, potentially. Oh, no. Okay, we, we managed to survive. We killed so many, though. Wow. And... I think we did manage to escape. Yes, we did manage to, uh, to escape. Okay, that went actually much better than I anticipated. I actually thought, hey, you know what? We might actually have some issues here. But no, no, we actually survived. Was We're able to get away. And, uh, well, I think that's pretty good. That, that went much better than I thought. I thought I was going to die. I thought that, uh, you know, the Iron Man challenge would be failed as a result. But no, no, we actually pulled out a pretty... Uh, I'm not going to say decent victory or anything like that but I'm going to say that we we did quite well in comparison to what I expected so that's pretty good can I go into Cardiff now please there we go all right so I didn't get anything for it unfortunately I do have some wool by the way I actually do have some wool so if I if, I, if we do want to go over to uh, Dorstadt and actually sell for a bunch of cash then uh, we could do that but uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to speak to anyone here, especially the happy... Oh, no, I can't speak to... I can't speak to her. Okay, fantastic. That's really good. So I'm just going to wait here for some time because we need to restore ourselves as much as we can, as quickly as we can as well. Because if we can restore ourselves in a quick fashion right now, I'll be able to go back and hopefully take on some of those weakened vassals in a one versus one kind of situation. And if, if we can do that... We will weaken them so significantly that we'll be able to, uh, well, just run around doing whatever we want to do, basically. It's going to be really, really good. So let me see if I can do that. How are we doing in terms of people? Well, we have 136, which I got to say is pretty good. I, I wouldn't say that that's amazing, but uh, we did lose quite a few, as I said. And uh, I'm going to land here. There we go. All right. So now let's see if I can track some of these guys down. There's a trader. We could attack the trader for some cash because there is actually a long fort nearby. So we're going to attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to lose honor for this. Okay, so that's good. I've already uh, helped a couple of people and gained some honor for that. So I have now 
Negative 56. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's quite a lot still, isn't it? Anyway, 135 against 54. Uh, I think we should be all right. Maybe I should have stayed on my horse in that particular fight. Hmm. I'm thinking if I did that, then it would have probably resulted in my horse going down, me being behind enemy lines, and then basically just being like, okay, I'm dead. You know? That potentially could have been the case. Anyway, I have a whole bunch of these guys, Aquitanian Skirmishers. Unfortunately, these guys were not really that useful in the previous little engagement, but hopefully they're going to be much more useful here. Actually wondering, there is Horse Archer AI in this, is there not? Because technically they're not actually archers. So that's the kind of reason why I'm a little bit dubious about using them at the moment. But anyway, let's put these guys into shield wall once again. It's always it's always best to be a little bit cautious about these things. Ah, spearmen don't have enough to actually form a shield wall. So that's obviously a bit of a shame. But it's all right. As you can see, the uh, these fellows are not really staying in any kind of formation. And there's reason for that, of course, because they don't have any leader. Because there's no, there's no vassal nearby or anything like that. Oh, we got stopped by a spear. And that's the kind of thing that I was really worried about in that previous engagement. Because if we get stopped by a spear in that kind of scenario, I'm basically dead every single time that happens. Or at least I would assume that that would be the case. Anyway, let's tell my people... Oh, hello. Almost got murdered. Almost. Almost. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, he turned around right at the last second. Only the AI would be able to do that, of course. Yeah. <sighs> Yes, they, they just know, you know, they just know that something's going to happen to them. Oh dear. Okay, I, I could get killed very quickly here. So I'm just being very, very careful with, with where I attack and what I do, because every single one of these guys appears to have a spear or pole arm of some kind, which is just terrible for me, especially considering I'm on a mount. There we go, let's see if I can help out this guy a little bit. And uh, what I'm going to do, actually... Oh, this is cool, this is a nice little... Uh, a nice little detail. This is this is really nice, actually. I, I don't think I've ever seen this detail before, but that's pretty cool because obviously we're attacking a trader. This is basically the trader's goods and their carts and so on. So I think that's actually pretty cool. Anyway, after this, I'm going to unequip my horse and instead I will be allowing my horse to replenish itself and then I will equip the other horse that I currently have in my inventory. That's going to be the way that we'll do things so that it can recover from uh, its uh, lameness, I suppose you could say, and uh, then we'll be able to use it once again. But there you go. Nice little victory for us right there. We can take a whole bunch of prisoners and, ooh, spearmen. Hmm, yeah, they're going to they're gonna sell for quite a bit. And you can see here, look at how much stuff we can take. Yeah, some pretty good stuff here. I'm not going to take the beef because that will rot eventually and then I'll forget that it's in my inventory and all that annoying stuff. So we're just going to leave it like that. And then we will be swapping out this horse for this horse and let that, that, that one uh, do its own thing. All right, so I am actually looking for vassals, of course. I am looking for vassals. So let's see if I can try and find a couple of them. I'm actually wondering where they went because you would think that they'd kind of patrol around this same area, but apparently they don't really care that much, I guess, about it. Well, they must have because they actually came with some really big force against us, but... Whatever the case, I'll just sell the rest of this stuff. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, do I want to sell anything else? I could technically sell the tools, but I think we're okay. 2,700 is pretty decent. And I'm actually wondering... Look at this. There's 231 here. This guy has 52 in his army. I'd easily be able to beat him. If only he would come out. That would be nice. Oh, there's another trader. I could literally attack another trader right now. Uh, do I want to do that? No, it's not that It's not that entertaining, you know? Uh, I, I would do that if I was off screen. But uh, as it stands right now, I don't really want to do so many trader fights. Let's see if there's another person in here. Whoa, only 108. Huh. Only 108. We might be able to take this. Pretty easily, actually. But the thing is, is that it's not a town. And that was the main reason why I wanted to attack this one. So, I'm actually wondering where those guys are. It's kind of weird, to be fair. It's kind of weird. So, 
gonna just do this once again, and then we're just going to wait until tomorrow. Ah, did I see one? Ah, uh, no, no, I think that's just a trainer. What? You're a crazy maniac. Do not do that. Sure, it will be useful when negotiating their surrender. We have accumulated the heads of enemies and dead peasants. Do you want to launch them over the walls? Ah, uh, no. Because that, oh yeah, that gives us a whole bunch of reputation. That's nice. Okay. That's actually perfect. Okay, we've got to be careful that they don't uh, arrive and murder us immediately. Let's build some mantlets, I guess. It's going to take 26 hours, though. It's a bit too much. Let's just do this. All right. Ah, there they come. Okay, okay. Let's just abandon the siege. Whoa, this guy's already got his full army back? Okay. And this guy's running around with 267. Okay, yeah. This the, These guys right here, 124 and 44... And this guy right here, 122. I assume the other two fellows that we're seeing right here were not a part of the siege defense that we had before. So I think it's probably the best idea for us to make our way out of here. But that's the thing. I kind of, I, I really want to attack these guys. Wait a minute. Is there any? Yeah, look at that. They're being super sneaky by stacking on each other. And that makes things basically impossible for me. I'm actually wondering if they're going to follow me onto the ocean waves. That might actually be kind of advantageous for us. But you can see here, I actually wonder, hmm, do you think I can do a little bit of a sneaky uh, sneaky maneuver here? Uh, I might be able to... Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Oh, hello. Come back. Come back. Come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No. Yes. Is he gonna is he gonna get help? I'm not sure if he gets help from this range. That's the problem. I really don't know whether he gets help from this range, but I'd love to be able to attack him, potentially take him prisoner, maybe let him go for some reputation, so on and so forth. But uh oh, that guy's running away like this. Uh Ah, it's it's a, it's a whole mess, isn't it? It is an absolute whole mess, but they have a lot more vassals than I anticipated. I actually thought that they had about four, because they haven't got the... Uh, oh, they've actually got a very large... Uh, never mind. Okay, apparently the siege will not happen in this episode, which I gotta say I'm very disappointed by. I actually thought, hey, you know what? We might, you know, we might be able to take our first fief, but I did get very close to dying, I suppose, which was not exactly great. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I will make my way around, I'll go to Dorstadt, sell my wool, buy some jewelry, buy some wine, so on and so forth, just do the trade route, standard trade route that we all know and love, and then I'll make my way back to Beartild Barrow, and I'll try and uh, take some more people out of the garrison there, and I'll also try and recruit some people along the way so that we may have a strong enough army to be able to take on one of these vassals, because I think going up against so many units in that siege defense attack thing that we had that was our undoing but if we can actually attack them on the fields of battle i think we might have a good shot not all of them of course but just one by one if we can make it happen i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time